Hello my fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. This is a general reading as always, guys. Won't resonate with every single person. So please do take from this whatever makes sense for you and release the rest. If you're interested in your own personal private reading at this time, that info is down below in the description box. And I will, as always, include a link to all of the decks that you see here today. So today's reading will be messages from the Divine Masculine's heart space. So mostly feminines will more than likely be tuning in to this reading to see where the masculine is at as far as the connection, what they're thinking, what they're feeling. For purposes of this reading, the Divine Masculine, I do tend to say him and his, but if it's reversed for your situation, absolutely take it that way. And let's dive right into this. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what comes through. These are the three decks that we'll be using for the focus messages. This one is my self-created deck. This is the Thinking Man Oracle. This is volume one, Romantic Confessions from the Divine Masculine by Sister Moon Tarot. And then another one of my self-created decks. This is the Heart Space Oracle. So I'm going to set these guys aside and let's start. Fire signs. Let's take a look and see the direction that this is going to go today. So let's get this conversation going with the Divine Masculine. When it comes to this connection, what is their first message to the feminine here? I'm actually guided to this one. That's crazy. I just finished doing the Earth sign reading. Got the same card. <laughs> okay, so if you're cross-watching for a fire sign, this could certainly be picking up off of that same energy. If only I could turn back time, I'd love you with all my might. No holding back, all in. If only. I'm going to grab my gadget here to hold up my cards. I always forget to bring this down for some reason, but it, it definitely helps to keep these cards standing up. That's the exact same message that I pulled for the earth signs. So I've got a masculine here who really wants to travel back in time to fix what's broken in this connection. You know, letting the feminine know. It's like, I would love you with all my might, with everything that I am, with everything that I've got in my heart. I would love you. If only I had a second chance to do that. If only I could travel back in time to make this all happen for us. Okay, so that's what this masculine is coming through with. So let's grab an additional message romantic confession from this masculine let's grab this card that's hiding right there i always admired your beauty okay so this masculine is coming through letting the feminine know that he admires her beauty and i really feel this goes beyond just the physical beauty i feel this masculine really sees the beauty inside this feminine as well, that he considers her to be such a beautiful person, not just on the outside, but on the inside as well. So what went wrong here, you guys? Let's grab a message from the Heart Space Oracle. Because if someone's wanting to travel back in time, then something went wrong. They want to be able to fix something here. Okay. Let's grab this one. Who's the chaser and the runner now? So there could have been role reversals here as well. You know, maybe at one point in time, the masculine was the chaser and the feminine was the runner. Maybe there are roles that have been switched here now. Okay, so let's continue. Let's see what else needs to come through here. Fire signs for this reading continuing to focus on the divine masculine heart space here all right so i ended up getting quite a few decks from my soul sister jennifer aquarius tarot and i absolutely love her decks because they always come in pairs or often do this one is on the horizon tarot and then this is on the horizon oracle you know so definitely check out her etsy shop if you're interested in purchasing any of her decks they're all amazing and she herself is an amazing person. Okay, so let's grab some insight from here. On the Horizon Oracle. Let's see what else we need to know here from the Divine Masculine here. What's going on with this Masculine? 
emotionally aware. Look at that. Maybe in the past, this masculine didn't want to deal with his emotions or maybe he was guarding his emotions. I just feel now with this role reversal of who's the chaser and the runner now, I really feel here that this masculine is more in tune with what's going on in his heart for the feminine. We have family nest coming through. So this masculine could have had a family with the feminine. Some of you guys could have already had children or thought about building a family together or even shared a home. We have fear coming through. So this masculine is afraid perhaps of reaching out at this time afraid that perhaps the feminine would reject him maybe and then we've got in another world distance it's interesting you know i have shuffled this deck like crazy even before i started recording this same exact card and even the fear one came through during the earth signs reading so again if you guys are focused on an earth sign you might want to cross watch that one because a lot of sim similar messages are coming through you guys are really traveling down very different paths right now there's distance here between the two of you. I'm also feeling from this particular card, my fire signs, that, you know, in another world, I feel from that that some of you guys are really at a great distance from one another. Like, we're talking two different countries here. You know, one person could be in Europe. The other one could be in the United States. You know, we're talking great distance here. Long distance relationship for some of you, maybe. Or somebody might have moved away really far just to get away from it all or to detach themselves, I mean, by way of distance, geographic distance, you know, not only are they trying to distance themselves emotionally and possibly even energetically, but geographically as well. I feel though this masculine might have really learned some lessons here and has matured since you guys went into separation, I feel. Things have shifted and changed here, but this masculine is still coming through with fear. So what's up with that fear? And then the next card is galaxy infinite possibilities. And it's true. I feel that there are infinite possibilities here that might present itself moving forward. There's something that's just telling me here that maybe it's not over between the two of you. Oh my gosh. And I just looked at the next card. We've got reconciliation here. So... This masculine wants this reconciliation, wants to bring about these infinite possibilities towards reconciliation with the feminine. And also, this energy of this galaxy is picking up off of the world card for me in traditional tarot. So, you know, maybe there's cycle completion that needed to happen. What happened in the past is in the past. You can't travel back in time to change anything, even though this masculine wants to be able to do that. It's impossible you know, and maybe moving forward and just concentrating on where you guys could ultimately be in the future, then the universe is willing to offer those possibilities because then, you know, you guys are not so stuck in the past, you know. And look at this. We've got transformation, letting go. Pretty much what I was saying, you know, letting go of the past, moving forward, just concentrating on healing from the past, really, and whatever painful energies might have been attached to why you guys went into separation to begin with, you know. So this masculine wants to fix what is broken. And there's this need to let go to create this beautiful transformation in this relationship. And then we have a yes answer. I'm feeling here too for my masculines that maybe they're afraid that the, that the feminine would actually say no towards a reunion, towards this reconciliation. But I feel, my feminines, that you would actually be open to this possibility of a reconciliation with your masculine. It's just that without any form of communication or interaction right now, this masculine does not know that. You know, he's very much all up in his fear, up, up all in his head that maybe this is not going to work out. So he's allowing all of these negative thoughts to really cloud his way of thinking. I cannot grab these cards to save my life. 
Sorry, hold on. There we are. That's what you get with short nails. I ended up trimming my nails. Okay. So this is another deck by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. It's a very Merry Christmas Oracle. It's the cutest deck ever. So let's add to this. What else do we need to know here? Fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. What else do we need to know here? What we know so far from this masculine is he wants to travel back in time to change what is broken in this partnership. Has always admired the feminine's beauty inside and out is afraid right now but definitely wants reconciliation let's see what else warm and cozy okay and i really do feel that that is how this masculine feels when he's with his feminine that you guys might have also shared a home together where you guys just made it warm and cozy. It was a warm and cozy environment, a very inviting home. Someone I feel also might really like sitting by the fireplace or even really loves the holiday season. Without the feminine, I feel this masculine, his world is just cold. With the feminine, it's warm and inviting and cozy. We have sadness, which I'm not surprised to see. Sadness because you guys are not together. There could also be, again, a reference to the holiday season. And, you know, depending on how long it's been since you guys have seen each other, the Christmas season, the holiday season might play a very significant role for you guys. And spending holiday season without each other could also make this person very, very sad. We have anticipation. I mean, look at that photo. You know, it's like just waiting by the window, just anticipating someone coming home is what I feel from that. So I feel for some of you, this doesn't apply to everyone, that you guys shared a home together and perhaps the feminine you moved away or this masculine moved away and what once was a very warm and cozy home ended up being very cold and empty. We have hanging in there, okay? So despite where you guys are at on this journey, this masculine, I feel, is actually hanging in there, holding on by a thread, but still holding on. Holding on to the hope, perhaps, that you guys can bring this back together. We have messages coming through, okay? Part of what I'm picking up from this masculine is that he definitely wants to reach out to the feminine either through text, a phone call, being able to go to perhaps the home that you guys had once shared to pay the feminine a visit, somewhere along those lines, just to be able to talk, to open up lines of communication here. But you know, right now, there's this stuck energy. So it's a little bit stagnant and frozen right now. That's what's coming through. And then we have need space. So what I'm feeling from that is maybe this masculine is giving the feminine space during this time of separation. I feel this masculine doesn't want to freak out the feminine in case the feminine is not ready to even entertain a reconciliation. But I do feel, my feminines, that you're a lot more ready than this masculine realizes. It's just that with no interaction, you know, there's no way for this masculine to really know that. We have protected coming through. I feel from that particular message, my feminines, that this masculine is very protective of this connection. This is something that he holds very close to his heart despite whatever has happened between the two of you, because this person wants to come back. This masculine wants a reunion here. And lastly, look at this divine union. That is what this masculine is wanting. A reconciliation with his divine counterpart, 
to bring about this divine union between the two of you. Wow. So my feminine's tuning in. If you've ever questioned whether this masculine even thinks about you, even wants you, yes, he does. Absolutely. So let's add to this with tarot messages. So we're going to use the counterpart to the On the Horizon Oracle. So On the Horizon Tarot. So let's grab some clarifiers here. Let's clarify with some tarot here. Angels and Spirit Guides, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. What do we need to know here? What else do we need to know when it comes to this connection? Is there a chance for this reconciliation to happen? We've got the Page of Cups. This is interesting. Okay, so for some of my fire signs, maybe the person that you're focused on is a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And going back to this card emotionally, aware and now we've got this page of cups and it does say open up emotions and i feel that that's what this masculine has worked on being able to open up his heart space to be more open to his emotions when it comes to this connection with the feminine we've got the queen of coins picking up off of pentacles okay so some of you might be focused on an earth sign virgo capricorn taurus this is feminine energy, someone who is a mother figure, very motherly, very down to earth, very nurturing, you know, and we've got family nest right here. Isn't that interesting? So what I feel, because we've got the family nest card, sadness, and then we've got the queen of coins. What I'm picking up from this, my fire signs, when it comes to the feminine, is that this masculine is very sad that for one thing, not only are you guys in separation, but for those of you who have children, who have a family that are in separation, it makes this masculine very sad that this is where you guys are at. But look at this. We've got the Ace of Cups right here. Beautiful energy. There is a potential for a new beginning here, a new chapter of love, in love with this person. But the Ace of Cups, as I've all, always mentioned, you know, it's the need for self-love first. It's the need to be able to fill your cup of love first. And this masculine needs to do that. He needs to come to a place where he sees himself as someone who's worthy of finding the love that he's looking for with this feminine. This is a deep connection that this masculine feels with the feminine. And this is an indication here that things will ultimately get better. For now, he's afraid that maybe it's not going to work out. You know, but there's this anticipation energy right next to that. So there's still a part of him that's anticipating possibly having a new beginning with the feminine. It's certainly possible here. And then we've got the eight of coins. So more coins, more earth energy. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, once again, focused dedication. So the eight of coins is keeping your eye on the prize. You know, I feel that's what this masculine is doing, knowing that perhaps he wasn't the best partner in the past, wanting to turn back the clock to be able to love the feminine right this time. He really wants to be able to build something beautiful and valuable with the feminine and he can do that so he's really trying to hang in there and that's exactly the card that's right there hanging in there just waiting to be able to manifest this trying to stay focused on what it is that he's wanting to manifest with the feminine But look at this. We've got three eights right next to each other. And I'm sure 888 means something out there. So you guys might want to look that up. I'm not that well versed on numerology, but you guys might want to look that up. I'm sure it's got some meaning to it from the angel numbers. So 
We've got the Eight of Coins. We've got the Eight of Wands picking up off of your own fire energy. And then we've got the Eight of Swords right next to that. So the Eight of Wands is all about fast movement here, guys. Okay? So this is, I love this card because it represents good energy and it represents the arrows of love here. This for me is tied into that Cupid's arrow vibe, you know, that once this masculine decides he's ready to create movement, he's ready to reach out, he's ready to try to make this reconciliation happen, then it's going to move rather quickly. But he's also in this energy of the Eight of Swords, which is a little bit more difficult. It's self-imprisonment. You know, the Eight of Swords is someone who feels restricted. Self-victimization, entrapment, imprisonment, isolation. It's tapped into all of that. So he's very much in his head. And as you can see, the card right next to it is stuck. He's stuck in his head in that type of mentality as far as, you know, being able to turn this reconciliation into reality. He, he kind of is getting in his own way is what I'm feeling from that. He might be self-sabotaging the progress that he's making. You know, it's, it's like two steps forward, three steps back type thing. But look at this. We've got the ton of coins here. So we've got more earth. This is very successful energy. And remember when I mentioned that I felt that you guys shared a home together, warm and cozy, waiting by the window. There's our home right there. Okay. So this Ten of Coins is such great, successful, wonderful energy. It's a strong bond between two people. It's being able to build a very happy future with someone. It does represent a secure time in love. And it's someone who could potentially be the Divine Masculine's perfect match. So he really needs to get out of his head because he's not doing himself any sort of favor by being in that energy. But, you know, he's going to have to process that all on his own and get himself unstuck. So that kind of explains the Seven of Coins, which is all about delays. But I feel in time that he's going to get past his fears. He's going to be able to work through this Eight of Swords self-imprisonment vibe and get himself unstuck. But for now, yes, there is a delay that's represented through that Seven of Coins. It is one of those things where you got to just wait and see how this goes. And, you know, obviously the majority of my audience here is feminine energy. Um, if you're watching for this masculine and you're feminine tuning in, you got to wait and see. You got to just wait and see how this all plays out because your masculine has to get out of his head that there's no reason to be afraid, perhaps, and to just take that leap of faith and see where this all goes. I feel it's going to be quite successful, but again, he does not know that, you know, because he's too afraid to see things from a positive standpoint. Maybe he's allowing his fears to really cloud his judgment and cloud his decision making for now. That's what's coming through there. So we're going to go ahead and grab some dialogue from this deck. This is the Soul Whispers deck by another great soul sister, Bridget Rao of Divine Essentials. Let's see what dialogue needs to come through here. So some of these messages could, of course, be from the masculine, but I feel my feminine. Some of these messages could even be from you if you guys had the opportunity to communicate. So angels and spirit guides, who needs to speak up here, please? I'm feeling more so it's my divine masculine, however, because we are tapping into the divine masculine and what is in his heart space. But I do feel my feminines that maybe you've got a lot to say as well. And that could be coming through in these cards. All right. What do we have? Come closer to me. Okay. So this masculine really wants to bridge the gap between himself and the feminine. I've looked up twin flames. Look at that. So this masculine could have even researched what the term twin flames is all about they might have even heard about it or my feminines this could be you if you weren't familiar with what a twin flame connection 
is. And for those that aren't familiar, it's your mirror soul. That's soul connection. It is someone that represents your true energetic counterpart in this lifetime, the other half of your soul, basically. You can only have one twin flame. You can have several soulmates in your lifetime. It doesn't have to be romantic in nature, but you can only have one twin flame. Look at this. I've checked on you. So the masculine is checking up on the feminine more than likely on social media. Let's go away and start over somewhere new. You see, this masculine definitely wants to start over, to start fresh, a new beginning with this reconciliation. And look at this. Just like what I was saying, I need courage to reach out. That's because right now he's afraid. Thank you for being you. Another message for the feminine from this masculine. Thank you for just being you. Thank you for the time we've spent together. Thank you for being beautiful on the inside and the outside. This is someone that is very appreciative of you, feminines, of who you are as a person, of what it is that you bring to the table when it comes to this connection. Look at this. We already know this masculine needs more time. Not quite ready to come towards the feminine. Not yet. But I do feel eventually this masculine will get past those fears and create communication, a new beginning with the feminine. So I'm guided to pull some heart songs here for this connection. I did it for my earth signs because there was a reference to music, but I'm guided to pull the same for my fire signs. So let's do that. This is my heart songs deck. Let's grab some songs that could be a part of this connection here. If you're not familiar with the songs that pop up, see if you represent or resonate, not represent, see if you resonate with the lyrics. So angels and spirit guides for my fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. What are the songs that need to come through here today? Make You Feel My Love by Garth Brooks. I know you haven't made your mind up yet, but I will never do you wrong. I've known it from the moment that we met. No doubt in my mind where you belong. I'd go hungry, I'd go black and blue, I'd go crawling down the avenue. No, there's nothing that I wouldn't do to make you feel my love. And I really do feel that for this masculine. You know, there's nothing that he would not do for this feminine. We also have Take My Breath Away by Berlin. Through the hourglass I saw you, in time you slipped away. When the mirror crashed, I called you and turned to hear you say, if only for today, I am unafraid. You know, and I do feel this masculine has gone through this journey, having felt the feminine slip away from his hands. He knows it. He feels it, you know. But isn't it interesting how it's got that reference to being unafraid, even if just for one day he can tap into the energy where he's not afraid, where he can let go of this fear. It could be that one day that changes everything, where he's able to really reach out to the feminine and just express really what's in his heart space. We have Lay Me Down by Sam Smith. Yes, I do. I believe that one day I will be where I was, right there, right next to you. And it's hard. The days just seem so dark. The moon and the stars are nothing without you. Wow. One more song. Against All Odds by Phil Collins. So take a look at me now. Well, there's just an empty space and there's nothing left here to remind me. Just the memory of your face. All of these from the masculine feminines. All of these songs and these songs if you guys happen to like these songs if it plays a significant role in your connection then absolutely take it but these are the lyrics and the songs that are presenting itself okay 
So let's add to this fire signs. We're gonna grab some messages now from my soul sister's deck, a connection lost somewhere in time. This is by Angelic Revelation 144. So let's add to this guys. Let's see what else when it comes to this connection. For some of you, it's been a long time since you've been together. And maybe, you know, you've just kind of accepted where things are, where things were. This could have been the one that got away. Or maybe that's how this masculine is feeling. So let's see what comes through here. Outside influences. My love, we shouldn't worry about what anyone else thinks. Our love is sacred and divine. We shouldn't let anyone interfere with our precious time. And maybe that contributed to the problems before, that there were outside influences. For some of you, it could have been third-party situations. For others, it could have been family interference or friends. People just getting in your ear or their ear. We have karmic cycles. I wish that we could just learn the lessons faster so we could reunite soon. This journey has been so hard and I just long to be with you. So feminines, I mean, this pretty much sums it all up. There are karmic cycles that need to phase out, you know, that need to be completed in order for you guys to move on to a renewed cycle, a new cycle, a new beginning towards this reconciliation. I ache for you. The end of us was a shock, but the ache that we might never be again somehow feels even worse. So that's why this masculine is afraid, because he's afraid that regardless of really wanting this reconciliation, that maybe this feminine might not be wanting that. And it hurts, you know, this is heartbreak right here. I dream of you. You visit me in my dreams to remind me of the connection that we share. Okay. And yeah, you guys might certainly be seeing each other in each other's dreams, connecting that way. You might not be together in the 3D, but in your dreams, in the fifth dimension, astral travel, telepathic communication, you guys might be connecting in that way. I feel like grabbing a couple more here. We've got karmic connections coming through now. It is only complicated because we are choosing to make it that way. Okay, so it doesn't have to be that complicated. There's a way to ease the tension here in this connection. But this masculine perhaps is going to have to make the first move, I feel. And bottom of the deck, we have living without you. I have wondered if dying might end the unbearable pain of a life without your love and passionate kisses to keep me alive. So my feminines, perhaps, you represent the life in this masculine. You represent their life force. You know, you're what brings this person to life. And it's almost like life is not worth living without you. That's the vibe that I'm picking up from this masculine. And look at this next card. We've got telepathic conversations. I was just talking about that. I hear you talk with me telepathically. Sometimes I wonder if I'm going crazy. Okay. You're not going crazy, feminines. You're definitely hearing, feeling, picking up off of the masculine's energies here. And or it's the masculine picking up off of your vibe, feminines. That's what's coming through here, guys. So let's add to this with some additional insight. Let's see where else this is going to go. So I wanted to grab some cards from my heart and soul love oracle. Angels and spirit guides, please. For my fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know here? The divine masculine is coming through. Okay, so this masculine definitely wants his presence known here. It says, I am powerful, but I don't always know it. 
I am strong, but tend to hide my weaknesses. I am confident, but I can be vulnerable. I can make you laugh, but I can be serious when I need to be. I am here to bring your life joy and happiness when you're feeling sad. I know how to love, but sometimes it scares me and I run from it. Take me for everything that I am. Don't try to change me. I am who I am. He even mentions fear. Sometimes it scares him and he runs from it. That's what's coming through. And hopefully, feminines, that gives you a better understanding of where this masculine is at. We have commitment coming through also. Who would have thought one day, one smile, one person could change another's path? A shared vision, a shared destiny, a shared love that will last beyond this lifetime. So I feel it's coming through here, feminines, because this masculine perhaps was not ready for commitment before. That's why this masculine is wanting to turn back time to be able to love you with all his might. No holding back this time. No holding back this time. And my feminines, I feel this message is coming through for you. Rejuvenation. During this time of separation, I feel this is where you've had to be. This is your healing journey. So this says rest. That's what I need. I haven't had the opportunity to put myself first in so long. I've always put you first, but you never appreciated it. It was exhausting trying to make someone happy that couldn't even find happiness within themselves. This is my time, restoration time. And when I'm ready, love will find me again. You know, my feminines, you've had to heal. You've had to take this break, to focus on you, to rejuvenate as this card states. Because I feel this masculine just could not follow through for you before. But what's coming through here is that there has been growth and change when it comes to this masculine. Ready to commit, ready to offer love to the feminine. Having done the work perhaps to be able to fill his own cup of love. Recognizing what it is that he needs to do now. It's going to take time for some of my masculines because I feel that journey is not complete. So my feminines, you got to be patient for that to happen. Let's grab a couple more here. We have one. We only have one life. Fill it with your hopes, wishes, dreams, and goals, whatever they may be. We only have one heart. Fill it with love, joy, happiness, fulfillment, contentment, and gratitude. We only have one love. The only one that truly has that one beating heart of yours. Cherish it. And we all know who that one person is that has grabbed hold of our heart and always will have that piece of your heart. We all have that one. Bottom of the deck. Look at this. The twin. You are my twin flame. You are the other half of my soul. No one else could ever come close to the type of intense spiritual connection that we are blessed to share. I'm honored that you are mine to explore this thing called life with. My life partner, my best friend, my soul spouse, my forever love. I believe this came through for earth signs also. So I'm telling you, for some of you guys, you might be focused on an earth sign here. But wow, such amazing messages, fire signs that's coming through here for you from your masculine. All right, guys, so let's close this reading out with some final messages. Oops. Final messages from the Journey of Love deck. Another deck by Bridget Rao of Divine Essentials. So let's close things out with this deck. On this Journey of Love messages final messages from the divine masculine and what is in his heart space for you feminines where is this journey of love going thank you for being you my light in the darkness that already came through did that not just come through? Hold on. 
Yes, it did. Look at this. Thank you for being you. Thank you for being you. My light in the darkness. Two different decks, same message. So my feminines, this masculine really appreciates who you are as a person. They don't want to change you. They love you for everything that you are. And maybe you needed to know that. What else, please, angels and spirit guides? Some additional messages here. Oh my gosh. Number 16, you're the one. Love, this is it. You are this masculine's love of a lifetime, feminines. You're it. They want reconciliation. They want to come back, but maybe they're afraid for now to create movement towards that. Give it some time. You're going to hear from this masculine. Look at this. Number one, I promise I'll never let go. Infinite. If given half the chance to bring this back together, this masculine is not ever going to let you go, feminines. And here we are with completion. Number 10, I just want loyal companionship. This could be you, feminine, saying this to this masculine. You might just get it because I really feel this masculine is in a much better place, has done the work. Maybe that work is not done, so give it some more time. Have some patience. I feel you will not be disappointed with the direction that this ultimately all goes for you. Because for the majority, I mean, the messages here are so positive and wonderful. This is a masculine who wants reconciliation feminines. This is a masculine who sees you as the one that they want to spend this lifetime with. It's up to you. Are you willing to allow this masculine to come back to you? The opportunity may very well present itself. So, feminines, the ball is in your court. When and if this presents itself, it's up to you. But this masculine wants to be a part of your life. That we do know. All right, guys, so that's what's presenting itself. I do hope whatever part of this reading resonated for you, that it offered you the guidance that you need at this time. Such beautiful messages here. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much, as always, for tuning in. And again, if you're interested in your own personal private reading, that information is down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.